What is up guys, Jake here with a special Vainglory video bringing you some gameplay of the new hero Blackfeather. You see right here me, Nostario, and Click Clack teamed up. Uh, it's kind of a strange team because Click Clack is on thin and going to be playing the lane and we're going up against Jewel, Catherine, and Ringo. Just a casual match, wanting to test this guy out and see what he's made of. I'm going a weapon power build and because I've got Catherine and Finn, I'm going glass cannon. I mean, basically no defense. I do buy a little bit of armor because Jewel is going weapon damage. Uh, but for the most part, just trying to get a feel for this. This is literally the first time I ever played this hero. I messed around with it on the uh, on practice you know, server, the practice mode, uh, just getting a feel for his abilities, what they do and whatnot. His A ability is just a... You'll see when I'm attacking heroes or, or uh, minions, it starts building hearts on him. And some of you guys have probably seen this stuff. It's basic stuff, but while I'm farming, I'll discuss it. It starts building up hearts on them, sort of like Cruel builds those uh, stacks onto the enemy. And you see if I attack right here, that heart, and then it breaks. Uh, that means that if I tap my A ability, it will sort of absorb those and do a massive amount of damage. Uh, so that's really what you want to do when you're fighting. Uh, my B ability is sort of that poke. It's a, it's a long range, just sort of, Auto attack, basically a little bit more damage than an auto attack, but, but that's pretty much it. And I like Finn. Or actually, I like Finn. I saw Finn there and said Finn. I like Black Feather. I think he's got a lot of potential as we go up for a gank right here on Ringo. But he's he's in terribly weak, in my opinion. Of course, this is only the first time I've played him, so maybe I'll I'll get better at it. Of course, I'm sure I will. But uh, he's he's weak early game. He is very quite squishy. Does not put out a tremendous amount of damage. The, the way you get a lot of damage from him is to do uh, to get your stacks built up, your hearts built up on the enemy, and then to uh, consume those with your A ability. But that's hard to do at the start, you know, when you're a squishy character. You want to, you, you got to get up and hit them. You know, it's not like you're a ranged uh, uh, troop that can sit back, a mage that can sit back and poke and, and kite them. He's got that B ability, which is a ranged ability, but as you see right there, six second reuse, you're not, you're not kiting anybody with that thing. It's just a poke ability. So it's hard to get those stacks. At least I found it was hard to get those stacks early game. Uh, late game, he blossoms and turns into a, a very strong uh, hero. It really does. Towards the end, uh, you'll see a few good plays as I start to get a feel for how I should play him. Uh, right here, we get caught and get the, the double stun on this one. Uh, actually, I didn't get double stun. He's got a single on that one. But when you're facing this uh, this composition that I'm facing here, a Jewel, Catherine, which both of those have a stun, one of the first things you want to buy uh, in a normal game is Reflex Block. Now with the new changes, while you are stunned, you can use that Reflex Block. So what they normally do, one will stun you, uh, the next one, wait for a second, the next one will stun you, and you're infinitely stunned until you're dead. It's just basically deleting you from the game. Uh, but they did a fix for that. You can use Reflex Block when you're being stunned now. So normally against this composition, I would do that. But in this game, again, I was going straight glass cannon. I wasn't worried about it. It was just more or less to get a feel for what Black Feather can do. Uh, so again, you see me buying there. I've got a uh, six sins. I've got a blazing salvo, and I've got, I believe, just another weapon steal. I'm going uh, sorrow blade to get get that first. But I want a little attack speed just to get those stacks up a little bit quicker uh, when I'm taking on we're taking on these team fights. But as I was saying, I feel like he's a, a definitely a late game hero. You're going to have to be extremely careful early game and play at him a certain way. And I, you're going to see me playing him the exact opposite of that in this game. But you've got to be conservative early. He's a, a harassment you know, early. You just poke at them. You give, put a little damage and you get out and uh, sort of fight in the back and make them chase you while your other heroes are doing uh, damage to them. Now, that's a little bit harder in this match because, again, I'm, I'm basically running with two tanks. Not, not their fault at all, not Clax and uh, Nostario's fault at all. That's what we decided to do. It was a fun match. But uh, in a normal match, this would probably not be your composition with Black Feather. So there you see me getting killed again. Uh, again, just getting a feel for it. I'm very green with, with him right now. Uh, nothing is reflex. It's I'm having to think about everything I do as far as what button to hit or what to do. Because yeah, when you start a new hero, that's how you're going to feel. You're going to feel like... Everything you do is wrong, <laughs> for lack of a better term. But at the more you play it, it'll become sort of muscle memory, and, and you'll know how to react to certain situations. I've just not developed that with this hero yet. But I'm going to play him more, and you'll probably see him in some videos, and, and I'm going to try to get uh, get better with him. Because I do think he's got a lot of potential once you figure him out and how to how to play with him early game. So right here, just back to the farm. Uh, we're just trying to get ahead. Uh, here comes the double stun I was talking about. Uh, Jewel just missed. Right there was my ultimate, which goes through them. 
and it also makes you immune to any ability or debuff or anything like that while you're going through them. Uh, that silence right there. Look at this. I had you see the stacks are broken. Those broken hearts. I'm pounding on my A ability, but uh, Catherine had me silenced. And just as I was coming out of that uh, silence. Uh, Jewel finished me off. I would have assassinated her there. It would have been a sweet kill, uh, but that was a well-timed silence by the defend or by the enemy Catherine. So right there, I'm dying too much. So I go ahead and just grab me a tier two uh, coat or armor. I didn't mean to even send that ping there. I don't know why I did that. Just misclick. Uh, but go ahead and try to survive a little bit longer. I'm getting a little frustrated because you know how much I'm dying. Uh, but you know, I didn't know how squishy the guy was just yet. And it's, I'm used to playing when I'm playing an assassin. I'm used to playing Taka. If I need to get out of there, I drop my box and I, I get out of dodge. Uh, this hero doesn't have that ability. He does have that ultimate, which can sort of scoot away. But you're not you're not disappearing. You're not going anywhere. Uh, right there, come in and jump onto Ringo. Get a see the heart's broken there, and I tried to hit him, but I had already used my A ability to catch him. But you see that sort of pink trail behind him. What that basically does is assist you chasing someone down. That's why I was able to catch him there. I had that pink trail. It buffs my speed. It buffs my teammate's speed if they're chasing. Uh, I come back into the fight here, use my poke ability, and then right here, scoot over and take out uh, Catherine, and then jump down to Jewel. Nice pull there by Finn to pull, it back, pull her back and get the last kill. We got a triple kill there, actually, obviously, with the help of the team, uh, but I did get credit for the kill, so that was pretty cool. We got the ace and the gold mine, and this is when we start to sort of take control of this match. Uh, we do they, they fight back. It's not like it's over, but we do sort of uh, get ahead on them here. We get the Sorrow Blade, uh, start putting out a lot more damage, and we're just going to get back to doing our farm. I recommend probably if I was playing if I was playing a jungle Black Feather again, the build I would do is two defensive items and three offensive items. Probably Sorrow Blade, um, Monocle and Breaking Point. I think Breaking Point's going to be good on this hero simply because you're going to build stacks very quickly with your ultimate. You're going to be able to hit get so many hits at once, it's going to add up very quickly and get your stacks up. I could be wrong on that, and I could change that build uh, to something else later, but I feel like that's going to be a pretty solid build for this hero. Uh, you see right here, I'm just trying to hold them off. There, It's three on uh, one, basically. Finn's coming back into the fight here, and here's where they sort of turn it around on us a little bit because they are getting numbers on us. See, they've got uh, Catherine killed right now, and it's just me and Finn versus them. We come down when we probably shouldn't have. They definitely had control of the jungle at this point. Uh, we come in just to try to poke them, bug them a little bit. Uh, Jewel comes in with a nice stun on top of us. Gets me stunned. I'm trying to get out of there, uh, but just a little too late. Hung around too long. Again, just getting the feel for what Black Feather's capable of. Uh, so right here, they get us dead. Now, uh, Catherine's going to show up. And again, it's just going to be a two-on-three. And it's going to be it's going to continue that way for a little bit here until we get Groot backed up. So just a mistake on our part. This is what I'm talking about. When, you, when they've got numbers like that, uh, probably not best to engage. You see them chasing there, and they do get a kill on Jewel. But I believe they start to go down right here. I could be wrong. I'm trying to catch over there and help them out. Uh, let's see. They're getting low. What do I, oh, yeah, we do get the, get the kill here. I come in with my ultimate... Uh, Oh, I thought we got it there. Maybe I was wrong. I'm sorry. It's been last night or that. Yeah, last night when I played this match. So I forgot. Yep. Yeah, it's later on when we get that. Sort of in the same situation. But we do go in, try to get their jungle here. Uh, you see Catherine is over there beating on our Catherine. Sort of changing shots there. And right here, you see to get the hearts built up on Catherine. That's also a, a slight debuff when you build those hearts up. Uh, Jewel jumps into the fight. Nice grab there by click and just pulls them over. Then right here, got those hearts up. Put a little damage on. Get out of the way. And then here in just a second, I think I get an assassination on, yeah, right there. You see that 365? Pretty big hit for this point of the game. That's when I had all those hearts build up and use that A ability. Uh, smacked him pretty good. You see that Ringo is chasing here. We're all pretty low health, so we're just trying to piece out. I give it a nice little poke right there on Ringo uh, with that B ability. He's got some pretty good range on it, and if you overdrive it, it's got insane range on it. Uh, so you can do that. Uh, we're just going to get back to our farm here. Try, I'm obviously very low life, try to get built back up and get ready for the next team fight. So back to the jungle we go. Finn goes back to the lane. He's got a couple people on him up there. And right here, I think we're going to go up and try to help. We got the gold payout, so that's good. But I am low life. And we go down to the to the store here. Grab. Right here, this is a bad move. Look how low life I am. I'm standing there, and I think I pay for it right here. Go back up into the fight. I grabbed a monocle there, Tyrant, Tyrant's monocle. You see how I avoided that stun right there, scooting through there with my ultimate? 
When you do that, nothing can hit you. You're, you're just perfectly safe, which is a pretty powerful thing. And he's got, two, you see that number there, he's got two stacks of it. So he can use it, especially when it's maxed out like I've got it. He can use them basically back to back. Uh, come flying in on Jewel, come in with an assassination attempt. Uh, but it was a huge mistake because Catherine was right there, stuns me, and that is that. All right, but you see how much damage it put on Jewel. He's got some good damage, and I'm starting to get the build up a little bit here with that monocle. I want to go for a breaking point at this point and get uh, just get my damage up a little bit more, a little more attack speed, and try to get into some of these fights where I'm hitting them all at once because then that's going to give me the most bang for my buck, obviously. Uh, we're at the 15-minute mark. Kraken's up. Me and Catherine are just back to work in the jungle, trying to get that farm up, get those last few items that we need before these uh, big-time team fights happen three-on-three. Three. It's going to start soon. Nobody's lost the turret yet, which is pretty crazy at this point in the match. A uh, really nice pull there by... Uh, Finn gets the kill and then right here we come in we've got him right there another kill assassinate Ringo and then slow uh, slow Catherine down here with uh, her stun and I believe that yeah that poke that B ability actually slows them just for a very very short time but just for a moment it does slow them down we almost get Catherine uh, but she gets out of there we just let her go we don't want to push too far especially because that turret's still up and want to uh, get back and get their jungle, just take it away from them, don't let them have that gold. Keep it for ourselves. Here's where I make the mistake, guys. Right here, watch what I do here. Don't do this. When, you go, when you're coming out of their jungle and you've won, don't shop on their side because what that does is allows them to come out of nowhere, come out of the blind uh, jungle up there and get you, get you a jewel jumping out in there right on top of me, double stun, Ringo's slow, and that was it. So always go to your side. It's worth the two seconds to get over there. Uh, it's going to help protect you. Maybe you can at least see them coming and have a chance to escape there. They can come out of the jungle, and uh, you can't even see them coming like Jewel did to me and Ringo. So now we're in a bad spot, uh, the two on three. I do get my breaking point, uh, so that will help some. Grab a, a pot, and let's see what's happening here. I guess Catherine died as well, so it was just Finn left. He's up in the in the lane by himself. We're trying to catch up. Actually, we're going to the farm. We probably should have gone up there and helped him. Because uh, he goes down right there, and I think they're going to get our turret right here as well. Nope, almost got it. Not quite. I guess they didn't have a wave of, of minions. So here they are, just sort of trying to threaten our, our turret, trying to you know get it down. It's not got much life left. Ringo, Jewel, Catherine, they're all there. Uh, Jewel really getting aggressive. We want to fall back. I Probably not real smart to do that right there. Because again, uh, Catherine comes in with that silence. But I do come up. Look at 687. If you get them hearts built up, ooh, and I like that right there. That was a pretty good scoot out of the way. Jewel was trying to stun me. Use that ultimate. Didn't hit anybody with it, but it can be used like that for a little bit of an escape. Come in, get a poke on them, and then right there, come in again with that slide and take Jewel out. Catherine is forced to retreat. So I'm getting, at this point in the match, you can sort of see, I'm getting a feel for the abilities, more when to use them, a little bit better reflex on when to use them. Uh, so I, get, I do have a couple nice plays. That was one of them I thought when I uh, slid out of the way with that that uh, ultimate to get away of Jules stun had that landed I would have been dead so right here getting their minion getting their their farm a little bit and just getting back to our side where it's safe and trying you see like my lesson going to the other side of the shop there grabbing boots and I go ahead and grab a metal jacket here uh, just because that's the only defensive item I have and I want to try to stay alive as long as possible so I'm getting pretty close to full build here I still want uh, what do I have there? I've got the breaking point. That might be about all I'm going to get on this one. I think I'm going to get one more. I can't remember what it is. Uh, we'll see that in a little bit. Uh, coming back, we know we're about time for a fight again. Uh, get the stun there and the double stun again. Uh, just wrecked. Just stupid. Stupid mistake. Walking into their, their bush like that. Uh, you know, when you're the only sort of damage dealer and they're doing that, you just don't do that. Don't. Don't be like me. Walk into that bush and ask for a death. That's exactly what I did. Oh, yeah, I'm going for a Serpent's Mask here. Again, just going straight glass cannon. But I figure, okay, Serpent's Mask can give me some more damage and also give me maybe a little bit more sustainability in some of these fights. Uh, Finn does a great job right there fighting him off the best he can. The turret goes down, uh, almost gets the kill on Jewel, uh, but gets away from Click Clack as he, uh, Jewel jumps out of the way. And obviously, Finn's not chasing anybody down. So I'm back up. This is where we sort of get caught in that two versus three uh, struggle. You know, see, uh, Catherine's just now getting up. Finn's in the jungle there. Uh, we start to get close back together here. I don't know if we get grouped up just yet. I'm trying to get all this farm I can, make sure they're not getting it, and also get the gold to where I can continue to upgrade. I see him right there just trying to get prepared to get out of the way if I need to. Uh, Finn comes down and joins us, and we're going to have a fight here. Uh, try to poke and expose. Right there, Jewel wastes the ultimate. Come in with my ultimate right there, hit everybody, 
And then right here, I think I'm going to get uh, that silence. Man, that's another one. I, I was about to assassinate on uh, Ringo, get up there and put some hits on him. But very well timed. That Catherine on the other team was doing a good job. That silence right when we did need it to happen. Uh, so we actually get wrecked, get aced right there, and they grab the Kraken. So not looking good right here. They just took it out on one of our turrets. They just aced us, and they unleashed a Kraken on us at the 23-minute mark. So we've got 20 seconds before anybody is even up. Uh, they're going to clear that wave and just push in with this crack and go down and get our minion mine. It's not looking good for the home team here. Uh, right there, they take down that turret very, very quickly. I'm up, and I'm the only one up for another probably 10 seconds, uh, just trying to remove some of those minions. I didn't want to get out there and get you know stunned and trapped and die. So I fall back to the safety of my turrets. Now Catherine's up. Now Finn's up. Now it's a three-on-three. -three we've got our turrets, but they do have the... They do have the crack in there. I fall right into that stun by Jewel, but right there, but look at that. We take out Jewel really quickly. Uh, nice job there, and they have to retreat. There's no, they're not going to fight us two on three in front of our turret, so we just focus all of our attention onto that crack and try to burn it down as quickly as possible. They do get the one turret down, though, before we can kill the crack in. Uh, but right there it goes down, we get the gold, I buy that Serpent's Mask, and we are ready to get back and make our push, recover our jungle, recover our minion mine, and try to make a push towards that, uh, to that some of their turrets and get this match even back up. Because down to one turret, you are in a pretty rough spot here. Uh, we really want to try to find them right here as well because we have them two on three for a few more moments. So we would like to get a fight before uh, Jewel gets up and back into the fight. Uh, but they're being pretty elusive. Finally, uh, Catherine comes down and exposes herself, and we try to get to her. Uh, there's Ringo. Gets a nice stun. Come in with a my B ability right there. Uh, Ringo out of the fight. Now they're in trouble. Jewel is no way going to escape from us here. Uh, just get out of the way of her big red button. Actually take quite a bit of it on the chin. But come in with my ultimate and then assassinate, and boom. We have turned this thing around right there, uh, trying to get to pushing onto this turret, get it taken care of. Catherine doing what she can to keep us off of it, but really not a lot she can do. And Finn giving her a hard time uh, pulling her in when he can and just sort of keeping her busy while we take that out. Come flying in my ultimate again, get a few shots on her. Uh, I just want to poke her right there, uh, get a stun from, from Catherine, get some damage on her. And right there, I'm waiting for that last heart. Look at that, 678 on that A ability once all those heart stacks are built up. It's nasty. In game, when you get built up like that, uh, it's a it's a nasty, nasty thing, and it's up pretty often. Now, tricky part is getting those stacks on a target and sticking with a target uh, when a fight's happening and all you know hex breaking loose and, and everyone's running around and you're trying to avoid stuns and ultimates and all that stuff. It is hard to keep those stacks uh, to keep targeted. At least for me, it is. Uh, to keep on one target, but if you can and you use that A ability when you've got this kind of build, it's it's nasty. It really is. So I just grabbed my tier three boots and a double infusion. I know this next fight's probably going to be the one that determines the game. We've got them down to tur two turrets. They've got us down to one. Uh, so everyone just getting back to their corners, getting grouped up and getting ready for it. And here it's going to happen right in front of the Kraken. Uh, look at that. Catherine was going to use her ultimate, but the defending Catherine knocks her out of it with a stun. Very nice job. Uh, Right there, look at the damage coming out. Boom. Got that assassinate. Took Ringo out. There goes um, Jewel. Uh, Catherine gets that kill, and then Catherine's the only one left. She's got to retreat. Uh, so we decided just to turn around and focus our attention on the Kraken. Probably not a great chance of Catherine doing a steal, especially with our Catherine waiting in the jungle. Can just stun her out of it when the when the uh, Kraken's about to go down. Plus, I have that A ability, which takes a pretty good chunk of damage. Uh, you'll see here, I just sort of wait and hold it till right before I think it's going to go down and then drop it and boom, there it goes. Catherine misses. Uh, so we got to chase her down. She stayed a little bit too long. Uh, Finn pulls her back in right there with some more damage. And if I get that, uh, no, just the Finn smash got her before I got that ultimate or that ultimate before I got that A ability back up with all those stacks on there. Right here, it's over. We push in, take out both turrets, and that is the ball game. There you go, guys. Black Feather in action. I hope you enjoyed it. I do recommend, if you can, spend the ice. Uh, if it's no big deal, uh, grab it because he's, he's a fun hero. I think you're going to enjoy it. If not, just wait a week and it'll be available with glory, so be saving up your glory for that. Um, here's the, the stats. Uh, 9, 7, and 8. Not great. Died too much, but again, one of my first times with a hero, so not bad at all. Good job by Click Clack and Nostario. Pretty much carrying me there and uh, keeping keeping us in the match. Uh, you see the build there. Sorrow Blade, Monocle, Breaking Point, and Serpent's Mask probably wouldn't build this all the time unless you do have a very tanky, supportive uh, team like I did here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Jake doing my best to help you guys suck less.